यू आर म्यूटेड अब आपकी हेलो राहुल जी सुनाई नहीं देगी यू आर माधवी मैम क्या अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई माधवी मैम अच्छा हाँ अच्छा यू आर म्यूटेड अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई नहीं देगी
यू आर अनम्यूटेड अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई देगी हेलो Yes, I can hear you, Raul. अगर मैं कैमरे चालू करूँ ना तुझे। You are muted. अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई नहीं देगी। मैं तो दिखती हूँ। Permission denied दाखो दे। Permission denied दाखो दे। अच्छा बर बर बर। तो ओके ओके। Permission denied। राहुल जी परमिशन डिनाइड देखा रहा है हाँ मैडम तुम्हें अंची राहुल जी अंची मदद गया राहुल जी यू आर अनम्यूटेड हेलो राहुल जी आपकी आवाज सुनाई देगी आते नहीं है बहुत अधिक यू आर म्यूटेड बर बर हाँ अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई नहीं देगी जी राहुल राहुल मेरा परमिशन डिनाइड दिखा रहा है अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई दे� ओके जॉइन हुए हैं क्यों? अगेन इट्स शोइंग परमिशन डिनाइड राउंड वेर इज इट कैन यू गाइड मी ओके Oh yes. Hello. हाँ मैं बोलने लेता हूँ आपको. हो सर ये तो ये तो. आ फक्त तुम सर स्क्रीन शेयर जाले ना ये बोल दो. कैमरा. Raul जी can you can you guide me again? Okay. You are muted. अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई नहीं देगी. You are unmuted. अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई देगी. हम मिस तो क्या? Yes, yes. दिस्ता सर. हो सर हो हो. तुमसे कैमरा शेयर होता है यस. सर एक 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 मिनट है सर थोड़ा सा माला कनेक्ट वाला प्रॉब्लम है. हो. Hello. हाँ हाँ या मैं तो अत टॉप लेफ्ट पर ना सिंगल की वन देर आर टू एरोस वन इज गोइंग टू लेफ्ट वन इज गोइंग टू राइट हाँ 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 प्लीज मार्ग म्यूट योर सेल्फ आर्मन सर अंश क्या मेरा बंदा जा लेगा? सर तुम सब कैमेरा शेयर करता पर देखता आदित्य आदित्य नहीं दिस अधिक सर कैमेरा शेयर करता हो हो करता है करता है मैडम करता है सर करता है तो
वायको येणार हा सर आता दिसतय छान दिसतोय हॅलो हो येस सर सर येतोय आवाज येतोय हो हो येतोय येतो थोड माधवी मॅडम कनेक्ट होतात माधवी मॅडम कनेक्ट झालं की आपण सुरू करूया एक दोन मिनिट थोडं टेक्निकल अडचण आहे हो सागर सर तोपर्यंत सांगा ना की तेहतीस आवर आहे लेक्चर सुरू करा तुम्ही ती जॉईन होत पर्यंत हो जवळपास शंभरच्या पुढे संख्या पार्टिसिपंटची गेलेली आहे आपण एक दोन तीन मिनिटं सुरू करू आणि युट्यूब लिंक काही क्रिएट झालेली आहे त्यामुळे युट्यूबलाही अनेक जण पाहत असतील आता त्यामुळे मोठी संख्या आज आहे विषय आपला खूप छान ड्राफ्टिंग आणि प्लिडिंग हा सगळा खूप महत्वाचा विषय आहे सगळ्या पार्टिसिपंट्सला माझी विनंती आहे की आपले दोन ते तीन मिनिटं सुरू करू आपण थोडं टेक्निकल अडचणीमुळे आपल्याला थोडं जरा वेळ लागतोय राहुल जी राहुल जी तिला फोन वर बोलत आहे अच्छा ओके यू आर अनम्युटेड अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई दे माझा आवाज येतोय नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून श्रीकांतजीकर सर माधवी मॅडम ओव्हर टू माधवी मॅडम ओके ओके हा माधवी मॅडम प्लीज आय विल रिक्वेस्ट माधवी मॅडम टू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस अवर गेस्ट थँक यू थँक यू सो मच सर गुड इव्हनिंग टू ऑल इट्स ग्लेस ग्रेट प्लेजर फॉर मी टू इंट्रोड्यूस अवर ऑनरेबल स्पीकर ॲडव्होकेट श्रीकांत विनायक कानेटकर सर टुडे हू इज गोईंग टू टॉक टू अस अबाउट ड्राफ्टिंग अँड प्लेडिंग दिस इज अ सब्जेक्ट वी आल आर डीपली इंटरेस्टेड ॲज अ सक्सेसफुल लॉयर must know the basic principle of drafting and pleading education of srikant uh, kanetkar sir is ba llb completed from pune university in the year 
practicing as a lawyer from 1977 that is for last 43 years our speaker honorable speaker although having spent almost his entire career advising people for their rights and law he is practicing in field civil cooperative election matters copyright trademark revenue matters arbitration proceedings debt recovery proceedings and consumer even though college tribunal all kind of service matters also the work also he is working as a part time professor in ils law college for last 32 years he is member of advisory body of indian law society also elected as a member of bar council of maharashtra and goa for the period of 1998 to 2003 he is member of committee <coughs> committee uh, appointed of by government of maharashtra for making amendments in maharashtra cooperative society act 1960 as per 97th constitution amendment in constitution of india he delivered various lectures in various uh, institutions even though he delivered lectures in continuous legal education program held by bar council of maharashtra and goa ladies and gentlemen please join me to welcome home and i request to our honorable speaker advocate srikan kanitka sir to please be continue thank you ma'am good evening everybody now the today's subject as told by you is a very important subject so far as those are practitioners in this civil civil law or in civil court my friends the you are quite aware there are two branches of law one is branch which is called as substantive law and other is a procedural law what is mean by substantive law a sub to law which creates a right in favor of every person every citizen for example take a case of a rent act if a landlord wants to recover the possession from the tenant then section 15 is gives him right to file a suit or to recover the possession on the ground of default similarly under section 16 of the rent act he can recover the possession on the ground of bona fide requirement if the tenant has created a tenancy if the tenant is not using the property that is the tenant had premises and so many grounds are given that is the right to recover the possession take example under the hindu law that is particularly hindu succession act again a substantive law in a sense if you read the section 6 of the hindu succession act talking about the copartial property ancestral property which give the right to a particular person by birth section 8 of hindu succession act gives the right of a person by succession in that full case that is a member of a joint family or any member of the family depending upon the provisions of the law one more example i will give under section 73 of the indian contract act if there is a contract as you know and if the party has committed a breach of the contract person is not entitled to claim only specific performance but is also entitled to claim a particular breach of for breach of contract the damages specific relief act it is partly procedural partly particular substantive in a sense section 5 of the specific relief act give the right to a particular person to recover the possession on the basis of a title so this is what then what is mean by procedural law procedural law doesn't give any right as such but the procedural law contemplates various successive steps to administer the justice for example civil procedure court how to file a suit then what next how is summons is to be issued how the evidence is to be recorded every aspect that is evidence to be recorded evidence act in criminal matters criminal procedure court so therefore the procedural law doesn't create any right as such but by which the law is administered justice is administered justice is released to the litigants therefore my friends we have to consider from these two aspects this particular drafting pleading is also related to a procedural aspect and how we will consider in during the course of my particular lecture now my friends 
Let us compare with this, this particular civil law to some extent about the criminal law. In criminal matter, how the law is set in motion? Take example, particular offense has been committed, assault, housebreaking. Suppose some offense has been committed. The person can go and simply file a complaint. That is what we call FIR under Section 154 of the Criminal Procedure Code. But in criminal law, can be set in motion by any person. It is not suppose, subject to certain exceptions. For example, if you are passing by the road and if you see that somebody is assaulting to another person, somebody is trying to break a particular house, it is not necessary that your house is broken. You can go and file a complaint. That is what FIR. So criminal law can be set in motion by any person. But civil law is not like that. Take example, my friends. A client comes to you in that case and tells certain difficulties. For example, he says that he has sold the goods, but money is not repaid. That is, price is not paid. Or if he says that he is a member of the client family, there is a karta, his elder brother, but he is not giving him any share. So these are the various examples which can be considered in that case or during the upper lecture. But friends, in that case, what do you advise? You get the instructions from your client as a lawyer, and you try to find out. You say first case that you say that recovery suit is required to be filed. Or recovery of the money that is the price which has not been paid by the particular the purchaser. Take example if the share has not been given. Then according to the Hindu law, particularly Hindu Succession Act, considering the nature of the property and the rights, you can advise him that we file for partition. See, therefore, what we say advise that file a suit. Now, what is meant by this suit? My friends, suit has not been defined in the entire civil procedure code. Then what is meant by suit? Suit means a civil proceeding initiated by the person. But in case of a civil law, as we say principle, ubiquitous ibiquitous means whenever there is a civil right, there is a remedy. That remedy is to be found out as an expert by the lawyer. So in a given case, whether suit for specific performance is to be filed, whether suit for a partition is to be filed, whether suit for recovery is to be filed, whether a suit for position is to be filed, that is according to the, the knowledge and particular skill of a particular lawyer. So therefore, in that particular case, suit is to be filed. Then suit has not been defined. Therefore, I told you. Therefore, we are required to consider the provisions of Section 26 of the Civil Procedure. Every suit is to be instituted by presentation of a plaint. I told you suit has not been defined. Suit means a civil action, a legal action, legal proceeding. In dictionary meaning, it is called as a period. So it is to be filed. But section 26 is that way. Suit is to be filed by presentation of a plaint. Again, then what is this plaint? Again, plaint has not been defined. If we see the province of section 2 of the civil procedure code, neither plaint has been defined, nor suit has been defined. But section 26 uses the word by presentation of a plaint. Then by presentation of a plaint, that means you are required to, lawyer has to drop the plaint because when client comes to you and that plaint is to be presented. So when the action, civil action is initiated by presentation of a plaint. Section 26 says by presentation of a plaint, suit can be instituted as per the manner prescribed. So what is that manner? That manner has been prescribed under Order 4 Civil Procedure Code. There are three sub-rules in sub-rule 1, or sub -rule one of Order 4. What is that rule says that will? Order 4 rule contemplates that will. Plaint is to be presented before the court or any officer appointed by the court. Means what? Plaint can be directly presented before the judge, that is the court, or if the judge has appointed 
any particular officer of the court by any name when the plaint is required to be presented before that court. Now it is our experience that in civil court, what do we find? We call him as a COC, clerk of the court, or we call him as a register. So plaint is required to be presented before that particular officer appointed by the court. So therefore, first stage is presentation of a plaint. To initiate a civil action, we will consider rules of pleading, drafting later on. But we have to understand as a lawyer various aspects prior to that. So the complaint is required to be presented. Then what is the manner of presentation? It doesn't say, but it's a plaint is to be presented. So can we present the plaint by register custody? Answer is not. The word presentation contemplates the delivery of the plaint, submission of the plaint. So that is to be submitted personally. So plaintiff will have to go before the court or that officer and present the plaint personally in that case. But it is not necessary every time that the plaintiff should, should personally go. And therefore we know we are the lawyer, we are authorized. We are authorized as an advocate to present the plaint. That authorization is by filing a Vakalat Nama as per Order 3 of the Civil Procedure Code. Order 3 though talks about the agent. Lawyer is not an agent, but lawyer is authorized. That means client speaks through the mouth of a lawyer. So the complaint has to be presented before the officer in that particular manner by the plaintiff or by the lawyer. But subrule two adds one more aspect, and which says that well, the plaint must be in conformity with order six and order seven of the civil procedure. Means what? That order six and seven contemplate certain rules of pleading. There is one Bombay amendment two to the order four. That is when the plaint is to be presented. It must be presented along with the copies, how much defenders there are, if there are two defendants, three defendants, etc. Then all statements, documents, and the particular copies to each defendant, that is a specific amendment, so far as made by the Bombay High Court. So therefore, the plaint is required to be presented in the manner as prescribed by the Order of Court. So Rule 3, my friends, is most important. Which say that well, the plaint shall not be deemed to have been instituted unless it complies with the requirements of Rule 1, Sub Rule 1 and 2. What Sub Rule 1 and Sub Rule 2 we saw? Presentation of a plaint, Sub Rule 1, and paper looking by the lawyer or by the particular author, and in compliance with Order 6 and Order 7. That is the meaning of. The compliance with. So, therefore, take example, my friends, client comes to you urgently. We are required to file a suit. We are required to draft a particular plaint. And therefore, presentation of a plaint which must be in conformity with Order 6 and Order 7. So, therefore, initially, when you present the plaint, whether it is a suit, no. It is not a suit. So, when it becomes a suit, Immediately after the presentation of the suit, whether it becomes a suit? No. When the plaint is presented, here my friends, I will invite the attention of my friend that is lawyers. A friend we are required to see to some extent always the provisions of the civil manual. Civil manual is made and prepared by the High Court. There are rules in addition to the civil procedure code. Now, if you see, the, they are called sometimes rules, but most times they are called as paragraphs. The proper word is paragraph. The paragraph 7 and 8 may be seen of the civil manual from the chapter 2 of the civil manual. What this paragraph 2 contemplates, again like out of 4 rule 1, presentation of a plate. Now my friends on presentation remember one aspect. Presentation that particular para 7 contemplate within the court hours. For example, between 10.30 to 
that presentation has to be to the proper person within proper time in compliance with order 6 and order protocol 7 but let me tell you my friends from my practice there may be some cases where time is over 5:30 time is over the clerk of the court would say no i will not accept the particular plate take example my friends were quite aware about the law of limitation suppose this is the last day of limitation and you can't present it there are authorities there is a provision that plane can be even presented to the court that is the judge at his house telling all these particular circumstances and the arrangement need i remember a case my friends in a election petition if the the municipal corporation petition is required to be filed within on the 10th days within the 10 days a client came to me in the morning of the 10th day i drafted it by that time matter was over that that is beyond the 6 6 o'clock i went to the judge at house he said that well, how can you present it i showed him the provision saying that even plain can be presented at the house of the particular judge not only that that is a principal judge not only that even if the judge has gone to the court even the judge has gone hello am i audible am i audible are you hearing me hello hello are you able to hear me are you able to hear me yes yeah. so then the plane can be even presented even at this particular club where the judge has gone for recreation so therefore you have to remember my friend this provision and in exceptional cases not every time and you can even present the plane so unless you present the plane it will not become a suit and unless it becomes a suit you will not be able to get any orders this is the important for the lawyers to know therefore how to civil law is to be set in motion friends then when we have to present this particular plane before even at the residence of the judge that i was telling you that well. so therefore thereafter what is the provision contemplated then even thereafter it doesn't become a suit para 8 to civil manual contemplates examination of a plaint and what is the examination of plaint we have to consider order 4 that plaint must be in conformity with the rules of pleading which are laid down which you are going to consider in order 6 and or 7 of the civil procedure code so when we present immediately court will not pass the order examination of the plaint will take by the concerned clerk of the court that is the registrar of the court so he would verify when we will consider the rules whether that rules of the pleading under order 6 and order 7 order 7 talks about the contents of the plaint which you are going to consider and order 6 contemplates certain additional rules of pleading if they have been complied with for example plaint is in a particular format as per the order 7 whether the plaint has been signed whether the plaint has been verified whether the plaint discloses cause of action whether the documents along with the plaint have been filed etc etc all these provisions need to be considered by the clerk of the court that is called as examination of the plaint he will primarily will see whether the suit is within limitation or not whether the court has got jurisdiction or not take example if your relief is in respect of the particular labor matter and if you are filing a suit in the civil court primarily will raise an objection that the civil court has no jurisdiction whether the proper court stamp has been paid whether the valuation has been done properly this will all will come in examination of the plaint never use the word examination of the suit so after fully examining the plaint the registrar will say yes the plaint can be registered 
where it is registered you must be aware my friends it is registered in the suit register where all specific entries names of the parties cause of action reliefs are claim etc etc so that is what a suit register as contemplated by the para 8 and which is also contemplated my friends as per order 4 rule 2 of the civil code so after the particular plain satisfaction that the plaint is in compliance with order 6 and order 7 it will be registered in the register of the plaint and it will become a suit my friends only after only after the plaint is registered that means it becomes a suit and then it becomes a suit and then matter can be taken for orders etc etc so therefore my friends these are the important aspects before considering the drafting of plaint or particular rules of pleading that is most important aspect my friends therefore the question of arises what is mean by plea pleading is nothing but now we are considering now we are not considering direct plaint we are understanding the basic meaning of a pleading pleading means what pleading means nothing but a statement of fact it contains a statement of fact now i will give certain examples to my friends as i told you earlier suppose a client comes to you saying that well, his share has been denied you are going to seem to file a suit for partition no statement of fact for this a lawyer must know the entire law which i will be repeating every time take example if a suit for partition is to be filed what we must first consider the nature of property that is whether it is self acquired whether it is ancestral and other aspects i will give at the time when the telling you the rules of pleading and then enter facts of being stated when he is a member of the joint family he has got a share his share has been denied and therefore he has come before the court for seeking his share to be separated by the court now my friends see the importance of the pleading i will give example again on another aspect suppose matter suit has been dismissed matter goes in the appeal even up to the supreme court see the importance of the pleading if the matter is the plaintiff has gone before the supreme court and he is saying that well, my share has been denied what the court will ask first mr lawyer tell me what is your case what is your pleading what is your plaint if plaintiff has gone and if the defendant has gone in the supreme court court will ask what was the case made out by the plaintiff but what is your defense so therefore pleading as defined in order 6 rule 1 of the cpc is plaint and written statement no order for contemplate suit is instituted by presentation of a plaint but pleading defines pleading means plaint and written statement that is the basic foundation my friends just like a foundation to a particular building that is a foundation to the suit and therefore when we will consider particular particular importance and that is take example suit for specific performance what does it mean but a has agreed to sell the property to b b has parted with some consideration he want to purchase a particular flat or a plot of land and later on the defendant denies to execute the sale deed you must know what is the law of specific performance how to draft the plaint in the case of specific performance and the basis of the suit for specific performance is basic is a concluded contract what is mean by a concluded contract that there must be a proposal and acceptance and party that is the defendant has agreed to sell the property and second most important aspect i am telling you important aspect and that is by way of example that agreement must be specifically enforceable what does it mean that part agreement is specifically enforceable in bumble for example it is a purely only a development agreement no construction has been carried out no steps have been taken 
and after some times particular that development agreement has been terminated there is a long dispute when no steps have been taken no any construction has been carried out no further contract has been performed if you file a suit for specific performance the question may arise whether development agreement is specifically enforceable take an example there is no consideration then the agreement is void so from second 20 onwards suppose it is there is a uncertainty in the contract the agreement is not specifically enforceable so therefore lawyer has to know every time the substantive law as to what is the requirement for the purposes of drafting the plaint when i will tell you at the time of considering the specific rules of drafting my friends the importance of the pleading must know that well you must make out a case you must make out the case according to the law and that and you have to mold the facts make next aspect before we consider the rules of pleading my friends that what is the object of the pleading when i tell you that well, you have to make out a specific case when order four says that the plain must be in conformity with the rules of pleading that is order 6 and order 7 so what is the object of the pleading you cannot take the other side by surprise i will give you example what is the, what what does it mean that you cannot take the other side that is defendant by surprise the example which i was giving you that in detail i will give you that is it is suit for partition i told you what is mean by suit for partition particular person is a co owner or a joint owner he must have a pre existing right means what either he must be co sharer either he must be co owner or having particular member of the family because there may be a joint family property the in plaint while drafting this particular plaint in a suit for partition what we are required to consider when i take object of the pleading that you must tell first the nature of the property what is mean by nature of the property because the law changes whether it is ancestral property moment you say it is ancestral property then concept of the co partnership comes now you already studied After 2005, the law is changed. Section six of the Hindu Succession Act is changed. Daughters have also become the co-partners. You have to see the latest case law on this point. Then, in that case, whether it is prospectively applicable or not, particularly in Fulawati's judgment, which you are everybody is aware. So, therefore, in that particular case, we have to make out the case first. What is the nature of the property? Then, you have to point out. that there is a family plaintiff has got undivided share you will have to calculate that share whether it is 1/3 1/4 1/6 whatever it may be according to the law as per section plaintiff has to take in short you cannot take the other side by surprise secondly if the property we are considering nature of the property if it is a self acquired property means what it is purchased by your that the father of the plenty then in that case law differs reason is suppose father has paid a bill and there are three brothers and father has given the property to only one son then the other two sons will not get suppose your client has not been bequeathed with any bill then your client cannot claim any partition because that property has been specifically given by the father to the elder son or younger son in that particular case while drafting the plaint you must know this particular aspect and therefore you like to consider that or suppose notice has been given and defense come there is a bill then you must know the law on the bill that is whether bill is valid whether bill is invalid whether there are suspicious circumstances so we have to draft in the you have to make out the case you have to make out the case means you cannot take the other side by surprise other side must know what is your exactly the case this is the first aspect it is the first object 
what is the second object first breed and then prove i will give example this very example take an example if you are written only in the plaint that the property is joint family property you know there is a difference my friends concept of co-personal co-personal joint family self acquired property there may be a joint family but there may not be a joint family property take example a karta is owner of is independent property that property is owned by him it is not owned by father he has purchased out of his own income so that property will not be subject matter of party but take example you must be knowing in a theory in case of party a blending theory what is that blending theory there is a one concept in hindu law that even if there is a joint family one member of the family can have a separate property take example he has purchased a house say at mumbai but take example he has got a broad heart generous mind and he says i will throw this property in the common hotspot that is mulla calls it mulla on hindu law that blending theory that means initial self acquired property initial separate hello ha huh. ha huh. so did you hear me on the point of blending theory yes yes so therefore in that particular case you have to make in the plaint itself clear that the you property do initially purchased by the number so one she has thrown it in the common hotspot that is blended in and therefore it has become a joint family property that is the case of a drafting of a plant so you have to make out your case you have to make the case at the time of drafting of the plant itself this is the important aspect or take example some property is purchased out of the funds of the joint family property that becomes the property of the joint family property if you read the mood law so therefore you have to make out that case in your plaint that is the meaning that you cannot take the other side other side by particular surprise and therefore second rule objective is first plead and then prove what does it mean first plead and then prove you know that after the plaint has been filed it becomes a suit return statement comes issues are obtained and then matter goes to the evidence at the time of evidence plaintiff has to prove his case take example in the plaint only he has stated that there is a joint family property and i have got a share there may be mistake over there and at the time of evidence suppose plaintiff start giving evidence that there was another property at satara and that was sold and out of that property was purchased at pune and therefore it is joint family other side judge will immediately take an objection no you have not pleaded this case you have to plead your case similarly if you have not pleaded the case of a blending theory the court will take objection no you come say so evidence cannot be given unless there is a foundation in the plaint and therefore the second object i told you first plead and then prove any amount of evidence will not give any relief unless there is a pleading there is a foundation in the plaint take i am tempted to do one more example suppose plaintiff is coming in the court of law to claim a title on the basis of adverse possession 
or the dependent is trying to claim the title on the basis of adverse position the lawyer must know who is drafting the plaint or the written statement what is the concept of the adverse position the most important thing is that when that the person has enjoyed the property as of right openly knowing fully well that other side is aware and it is enjoyed for more than 20 years and not only that mere length of position is not important but when the position has become adverse that is the pleading that is the drafting of a plaint or that is the drafting of a written statement so therefore every time lawyer is not only supposed to know the law but even latest decision means what what law has been interpreted by the high court or the the rules of pleading my friends we have to consider these three important objects as regards object of pleading and then my friends we have to consider what are these of pleading rules of pleading in that particular case that means what a lawyer has to consider and draft the plaint or the written statement accordingly for written statement there are certain additional rules we will consider at particular time to so take example of my friends i will start with example itself while considering the rules of pleading now rules of pleading are embodied as per order four in order 6 and order 7 my friends order 7 for the friends is the plaint a format of pleading and order 6 in addition to that contemplates certain rules of pleading that how to draft a particular fact or particular fact this is what the important aspect is are you audible hello are you audible not not audible sir you are unmuted ab aapki awaaz sunai degi हेलो 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 सर तुम्हारा जो हेडफोन है ना तो एक पूर्ण व्यवस्थित बसला नहीं है कि मैं दुसरा है का तो चेंज करता है का हम्म हेलो सर हाँ आवाज देते सर तुम्हारा बरबर हाँ तुम्हें जे इोन है ना ते व्यवस्थित बसले नहीं लैपटॉप लैपटॉपला प्रॉब्लम तो दुसरे चेंज करता राहुल सर संगता है विदाउट इोन यूज करना करता तुम्हें बोलू शकता का बगोद इोन का टाकन तुम्हें एकदा ट्राई करा हाँ मशीन से का आदित्य सर संगता का आदित्य सर
यू आर म्यूटेड अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई नहीं देगी You are unmuted. अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई देगी सर तुम्हें म्यूट के स्वतः कनेक्ट कर सर अनम्यूट करा तुम्हारा आवाज नहीं आ रहा हाँ हेलो चल हेलो म्यूट माथी मैडम तुम्हारे सर आदित्य सर नंबर यू आर म्यूट सर कॉल करू आप आपकी आवाज सर कॉल करते यू आर अनम्यूटेड अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई देगी यू आर म्यूटेड अब आपकी आवाज सुनाई नहीं देगी माइक च बटन प्रेस
मैडम सर दुसरे फोन वरुन करता जॉइन काय सांगतायत नाही सर बरं लॅपटॉपला अडचण आहे ना त्यांच्या सगळ्या पार्टिसिपंट विनंती आहे की आपल्याला तो थोडी जरा टेक्निकल अडचण आली आहे सरांकडे थोड्या वेळामध्ये थोड्या वेळामध्ये आपलं सगळं सेशन पुन्हा एकदा सुरू होईल सगळ्यांना विनंती आहे की आपण थोडं थांबावं So welcome to Lab Special Doctor Webinar Series. And for today's session, we have your advocate Shrikant Madhavanka Sir with us. And before I give an introduction to Sir, I think it's more important to give an introduction about Lab, what we do, and why exactly we're having this webinar in the first place. So uh, we're having the Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, sir, I am Adipur Chaudhary, Surpa Chaudhary. Today, I am very much happy to introduce our speaker, Adipur Chaudhary Walushkar, sir. Practicing more than 25 years in high court in Mumbai, sir has filed many public interest litigation in Mumbai. Madhu Madam, how are you doing? Madhu Madam, YouTube channel. Madhu Madam, YouTube channel. Madhu Madam, YouTube channel. Hello. हॅलो येतोय म्हणजे आवाज तो आवाज इकडे येतोय ना युट्यूब वर तर आपल्याकडे वारणिका सर हॅलो कॉन्टॅक्ट झालाय का सरांचे काही सर राहुलजी राहुलजी बोलतायत वाटत सरांशी उद्या आणि परवासाठी परत हे करूया का शेड्यूल नाही आता आपण जेवढा वेळ सरांना लागतो आता तेवढा आपण देऊयात आता कारण सर आता 
अजून उद्या आहेच ना सर सर आज काही म्हणजे आपल्याला काही कळलं नाही मग अशी पण आवाज नीट नव्हता त्यामुळे कळलेलंच नाही काही आवाजच नाही आले मी बोलते एकदा त्यांच्याशी आणि उद्या आणि परवासाठी वेळ घेऊयात परवाच शेड्यूल आहे मॅडम ऑलरेडी उद्या आपल्या वेळ वाढून आपण हे करूया आपण संध्याकाळी येता येईल उद्या याच वेळेला आपण वेळ थोडी म्हणजे आजची वेळ आपल्याला कव्हर करता येईल कारण आजचा आधीचा पण आवाज व्यवस्थित नव्हता त्यामुळे काही नीट कळलं नाहीये फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग आपल्याला सगळं करावं लागेल सरांशी आधी बोलावं लागेल नाही फोन रिसिव्ह करत नाही मी किती वेळा फोन केला मॅडम तुम्ही फोन लावता तुम्ही राहुल सर त्यांच्या बरोबर बोलतायत वाटत बिझी येतोय लिंक मला चालली मला स्पीकरची लिंक आली फक्त आज हा राहुल जी हॅलो राहुल जी कॅन यू हिअर हॅलो हो हो करतो येस हो 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 करतो ना करतो येस येस ठीक आहे ठीक ठीक येस 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 ठीक हॅलो 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 हा सर राहुल सरांचा फोन चालू आहे वाटत अजून ओके 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 माधवी मॅडम अँड संध्या मॅडम ऑल्सो सुजेस्टेड दॅट इफ इफ देर इज अ प्रॉब्लेम टू कम्प्लीट लेक्चर इन टू डेज सेशन गेटिंग दिस प्रॉब्लेम Uh, because uh, I think there are participants, 
I think the uh, above 80, 90 participants above. above. I am requesting uh, our viewers, participants, to please wait for uh, minutes. If the problem, if the technical problems will not be solved, we will take the decision. Take this session. Take this session. Procedures. Uh, we will uh, request uh, to get connected to extend the time. Uh, so please, I uh, please wait for two three minutes. We will take the decision. Thank you. Madam, uh, do you have Aditya, Aditya's number, madam? Hello, Sandhya, madam. No, no, sir. Mm. So we have ten minutes in our hand <laughs> of this meeting. Hello. Right. 